I never thought this would happen. Deep Rock Galactic is doing a rollback legacy version of the game, meaning it will be optional to play the game as it was in release. Thank the Dwarven Gods! I'm so happy right now. You guys have no idea what you're in store for. If I recall correctly, cave leeches were bugged out grabbing you through the walls. Tunnels were not always walk throughable and required a driller to even get places. There were no overclocks, different perks, and the game was way harder than it is now. I cannot wait to play this version again. It will be such a trip for me as I started with my two roommates playing this co-op or solo a good while before I ever even thought of having a YouTube. Or before this game even exploded. This update is so relevant to Deep Rock Academy. Because the overall advice I'm giving is old school legacy strategies that were at the time the only way to actually get weekly overclocks from dives. That is, if you weren't able to complete the weekly elite deep dive, you missed out on gear. And at that time, there was not the same reward system, mineral trader, or anything near what it is today. So you would need those weeklies for the deep rock grind. Not that you don't now, but it was much worse because you actually had to grind specific mineral types as there was no mineral trader. So the grind was much longer. This is why I made Deep Rock Academy in the first place, because I wasn't able to complete them. That's right, I was not able to complete dives, which honestly kind of bothered me since I was playing this game from the start. It wasn't like there were any perks I didn't have. Why can't I complete these dives? They actually felt impossible to me, and I felt the game was balanced wrong. At first, I experimented with bunkers, and actually came up with a good combo build and strategy that, believe it or not, is detonator proof and almost everything else proof. And no, it wasn't an escape exit or a specifically constructed room. More on that another day. And it worked for a while. But bunkers aren't always optional since dreadnoughts and, you know, the unknown horror can just waltz right in there. So, I started build testing. I've only shown you one of the three actual tests. I'm getting to the other two soon. I then learned that the caves simply didn't have enough nitra for any mistakes. Calling ammo early, using too much ammo, taking too long to get nitra or objectives. All of these things were actually causing missions to fail. Long story short, the rest of Deep Rock Academy is the other steps I took. They were required and allowed me to start getting more overclocks and weekly rewards from dives. And since I wanted other people to get the rewards as well, I decided to make YouTube videos showing my experience so that others can do the same weekly grind and carry other green beards out there too. Now the topic for this morning is what does this have to do with me? But what in the absolute sh does this have to do with you and Deep Rock Academy? One thing that will be abundantly clear to everybody out there when this version of the game is available is that you're playing a very different game now. It's so different. It has gone through so many changes that I don't even think I'm a greybeard anymore. I think I'm an ancient. The types of skills I learned are not even required anymore in this game. Look, I'm going to be honest. Deep Rock Academy was this close to becoming legacy strategies that old school greybeards used to use, like a museum or something. And we used to use them simply because we had to. It was the only way. There was not enough Nitra to do anything else. Now, I've done about 15 Elite Deep Dives with people under level 30, and tons of Hazard 5s with level 20 and under. The game has been geared towards the ever-revolving amount of Greenbeards it's had since release, and rightly so. The Deep Rock Galactic experience is a Greenbeard experience. Terraforming the terrain for the first time just because you can. Building pipelines like roller coasters, hearing the distant screams of a Mac Terra grabber and being terrified, bulk detonators being an actual problem. All of these things are what makes the first experience so great. So where does that leave Deep Rock Academy now? This is kind of hard to put into short form, but essentially, if you use my old school strategies, even though you don't need to now to beat the mission, it allows you to not only use the funnest, overpowered, ammo-consuming builds, it will also make the missions much easier. I've got a lot of work to get everybody there, but this is simple math actually. Time mechanics and nitro strategies combined with three other people on the same page doing efficient roles will yield a new Deep Rock experience for you. This is definitely the higher level gaming experience that I intended when I made this series. And now because Deep Rock is easier, it's even more effective. It is, however, not needed anymore to complete Hazard 5 or Elite Deep Dives. I'm obviously not going to go into it now since I'm working on dedicated videos on this subject. But to sum this up to this comment, 
Actually, you can use that much ammo. It's mathematically correct. Based on the nitra gain strategies, that's not just getting nitra, by the way. That's more time mechanics. This is what I talk about so often that kind of alienates me from the mainstream, because none of the strategies I will talk about are required in Deep Rock, as they used to be in my time. So yes, there is in fact always enough nitra. There may be very rare circumstances that can cause you to have abnormal ammo loss. Of course that can happen. But what's happening there is actually a situation that is causing ammo gain to take so much time that ammo loss is greater. It's not that there is no nitra in the cave, but rather the sequence of events that prevented from getting it quickly or the amount of ammo cost to gain it. For example, a dreadnought accidentally triggers and you're in a mid tyrant weed fight. If you don't have nitra, getting it now is going to take way more time, be way more dangerous, and cost way more ammo, giving the illusion of not enough nitra. But in the entirety of the cave, combined with the strategies covered in my upcoming videos, you will have enough ammo to do this. For example, you could grenade and bubble shield the entire mission, constantly, every fight. You could proximity mine everything. You could use builds people think are not viable. I get it. It's the experience everyone is having. You don't need to maximize Nitro when you can just finish the mission on what you have. I totally understand, especially because that is the grind now. Get through the mission, don't mess around if you don't need to, I've got assignments to complete and experience to be gained. So I'm not throwing any shade here, but I am saying that this is like an entry level of Deep Rock, which has become the entirety of Deep Rock now. And there is another level that changes the game in such a cool way. So I would say to players that are getting a little gray in their beard, maybe getting a little bored here and there, please tune into my upcoming videos because this will be a new and refreshing way to play the game with new and refreshing builds that works so well if you combine it with my old school gameplay strats. I hope that's got you intrigued. It's been months figuring out where the disconnect is with Deep Rock Academy and the community. And even down to my gameplay experiences being so different nowadays. And this is it. The game has changed. So people just simply aren't experiencing anything I'm talking about. No wonder there's a disconnect. I recently saw a bronzed one star gunner video that I think has more views than anything I've ever made by literally like 300%. And that's because a rookie's experience in this game is the game nowadays. At any point in time, I can launch a Hazard 5 and brand new players can join and we will complete the mission. That was not something we could do in my time. My strategies just aren't required to beat these missions anymore. As a matter of fact, most of my masterclass builds aren't even recognizable as efficient builds because that's just not the experience everybody is having. The common denominator here is ammo. Because we didn't have the same amount of nitra and the same build options, we basically had to make ammo go as far as it possibly could. And now with there being so much more nitra and so many more build options, if I use those same strategies, it's like I'm playing with double the amount of nitra as everybody else. So yes, you can take ammo for the proximity mines here, with more than enough for everyone else and some left over. So I've got my work cut out for me, I know. I spent too long on master classes which are build related and I need to focus on actual gameplay mechanics, time mechanics, and nitro gain strategies. I will also include my overpowered builds in the same video so you can use them too. Enjoy this update, it means a lot for old timers like me. Thanks for being here, thanks for playing the game, and continue rocking and stoning.